Hello students. Today we are going to see Chapter 9 Environmental Management Part 3. In this session we are going to study Disaster Management. Now you can see the picture of natural disasters for instance volcano, hurricane, cyclone, flood, earthquake as well as man-made disaster. Now what is a disaster? A sudden event that causes large-scale damage to life, property and social aspects of a nation or society is called disaster. What are natural disasters and man-made disasters? Natural disasters are caused by natural forces whereas Man-made disasters are caused by the activities of man. Examples of natural disasters are tsunamis, floods, landslides, hurricanes, wildfire, droughts, volcanic eruptions, etc. Examples of man-made disasters are hazardous and material spills, for example, oil spills, explosions, chemical or Biological attacks, for instance, Chernobyl nuclear disaster, Bhopal gas tragedy, Fukushima nuclear disaster, global warming, Gulf of Mexico oil spill. Steps can be taken to minimize the effect in natural disaster, whereas man-made disaster can be avoided with careful planning and prevention methods. Now, disaster management is action implemented through proper planning, organized activity and coordination. Disaster management service number is 108. It includes prevention of losses and danger, improving tolerance, providing relief from disaster, minimizing the intensity and extent of harm, Preparation to face the disaster, immediate action in the disaster situation, assessment of danger and intensity of the disaster, arranging for rescue, work and help, rehabilitation and rebuilding. Now you can see over here disaster risk management cycle. As you can see in the picture, when a uh, this is the picture which shows the picture of that is natural disaster of earthquake, the rescue team, that is rehabilitation and rebuilding center. Now next we shall see first aid given to disaster victims. The objective of first aid is prevention of death, preventing deterioration starting the process of rehabilitation life and resuscitation abc now what is this a b and c that is first a stands for airway if the victim has difficulty breathing the head should be held in a backward sloping position or the chin should be raised so that the respiratory passage remains open as you can see in the picture. Breathing. If breathing has stopped, the victim should be given artificial ventilation by mouth to mouth. As you can see. The third is circulation. If the victim is unconscious, then after giving mouth to mouth respiration twice, the heart should be pressed down hard by pressing the chest with, the, with both the palms. These two actions should be replaced alternately about 15 times. This is called as cardiopulmonary resuscitation or it is also called as CPR. It helps to bring the circulation back to normal. Now CPR is as easy as CAB that is compressions, airway and breathing.
Now next we shall see how is first aid provided to victims of disasters who are injured for instance fracture if any bone is fractured it is essential that the fractured part be immobilized it can be done with the help of any available wooden rods batons or rulers if there is an impact on the back or vertebral column the patient should be kept immobile on a firm stretcher next is if the victim is bleeding if the victim is injured and bleeding through the wound should be covered with an antiseptic pad and pressure applied on it for 5 minutes with either thumb or palm the next is burns if we, if victims have burn injuries it is beneficial to hold the injured part under clean and cold flowing water for at least 10 minutes now for injuries like sprains twisting and contusion the r r i c e remedy should be applied now what is that for the injury for example r that is rest allow the victim to sit in a relaxed position ice apply an ice pack on the injured part compression after the ice pack treatment the injured part should be massaged massage gently elevate the injured part should be kept in a raised or elevated position now we shall see transport of victims patients during a disaster now first method we shall see cradle method now in this method the patient is lifted up with both the hands it is useful for it is useful for children and underweight victims or patient now as you can see in the picture the next we shall see human crutch method this is normally done under circumstances where the patient has got hurt on one of his leg and that is why minimum load has to be applied on the injured leg the third method is carry piggy bag this method is useful for carry who are unconscious the patient is carried on the back and is transported from one place to another the next is pulling or lifting method this is used for carrying an unconscious patient to a short distance the next method is carry on two hand chair this is normally used when the patient is not able to use his hand but can hold their body upright the next is carry on four hand chair now when there are two people ready to help or carry or transport the victim from one place to another they need to hold their hand in such a way that a chair is formed on this the patient is allowed to sit the four hand chair is normally followed in circumstances when support is needed below the waist of the patient next we shall see the stretcher method in an emergency it is conventional if a conventional stretcher is not available then a temporary stretcher can be made using bamboos blanket etc next we shall see under other emergency measures boards are used by the civil administration to rescue the people trapped in a flooded area as an emergency measure wooden boards bamboo floats air filled rubber tire rubber tube from tire can be used to an advantage thank you children hope so you have enjoyed the session